Police holding prisoners in watch houses is one option to reduce overcrowding at Northern Territory jails. But it seems formal negotiations between the government and police on the topic are yet to begin. The opposition says the fact such a plan is even being considered shows the system is in crisis. The Northern Territory government's hoping new laws allowing courts to sentence low-level offenders into community work instead of prison will ease overcrowding in the Darwin and Alice Springs jails. It's calling on the courts to use them. What we've done in terms of our new era policy is talk to the judicial system, is to talk to magistrates and give them a real option. But the Darwin and Alice Springs prisons are already so full, the government is having to talk to the police about the possibility of holding prisoners in their watch houses. Darwin's Berma prison is only six prisoners short of its capacity, while Alice Springs will be full if it gets another 21 inmates. The system is in crisis. Uh, this is called a correction system. Uh, it doesn't correct. In fact, we see crime increasing. Lawyers say with the government's new half-billion-dollar prison two years off, it's belatedly scrambling for a solution. Instead of doing what they could have done at reasonable expense to the community, which was develop, build on to Berrima, of which there is ample land, also build fast-track prison farms, which can be done at reasonable cost to the community, the government has set sail on the succession of the new prison. The police say they've had preliminary discussions with the correction service about managing prisoners in watch houses and court cells, but they haven't received a formal proposal. Police say they'll consult key stakeholders before moving towards a formal arrangement. Jane Barton, ABC News.